I'm wondering if I'm like the only person who does this because like I'm the only one here standing on the platform. Um, of course, the people who live here, it's like an everyday occurrence, I'm sure. I was wondering, are there more like tourists or visitors that like to take photos of a flying by <laughs> Nozomi Shinkansen or is that just me? Does it sound a little crazy? I don't know. When I first got off the train and I saw them go by, I said, holy cow, man. You know, they're flying by it. I don't know if they're going 280 kilometers, which is about what? Almost like 180 miles an hour, I think. Or they slow down a little bit but they are flying when they go by here so as i can see the tracks here you can see in behind me also that the two main free-flowing tracks are in the middle that allows free passage well as the rest they can pull into the side to pick up people you know what is amazing when you think about it is the timing of everything because those that train over there is going to get back onto the main track so then it's all time synchronized to the microsecond one little mistake and let's say that kodama is going out and that nozomi is flying by at a, a 280 kilometer and you would have a horrible accident. You know, the computer system and their synchronization of time is really, really unbelievable. The more I see about the Shinkansen and the bullet train, the whole train public system in Japan, everything is done to the microsecond. And they rarely have accidents, you know, knock on wood, which is really, really amazing. As I said so many times before, no one has ever been killed on an accident caused by the malfunction or human error on the bullet train Shinkansen. Um, there have been some accidents, people have gotten into but no one has died except for someone a few years ago who set himself on fire on the Shinkansen. Here it comes. Can you feel it? It's coming. It's coming. Oh, there it goes. Feel that power. It is flying by. Oh, there's another one coming the other way. Can you hear it? Feel that power. I think you can understand what I'm talking about. You can just stand in here on the platform. It's so unbelievable. You just feel that tense, powered energy. And I've always thought that the Shinkansen was so powerful and so, you know, amazing. But standing here, maybe 30 feet from the track where it passes by, yes, you can really feel the intensity. And as I was saying before, the synchronization of all these trains, whether they're parked and they're going to get back on the main train, Kodama's going to go out now. How do they time it? Anytime that Kodama is just starting to go and a flying Nozomi comes from behind the Kodama wouldn't have a chance not gonna would it be totaled so it is really an amazing system they got so many coming through I've been standing here for about maybe 45 minutes I don't know how many have passed I would say at least 12 and then plus the Kodama and Hikari so so many trains are moving one it must be very costly to run a whole system like that two the synchronization the timing is so unbelievable and I always believe that Japan has the best high-speed train technology in the world you know the Shinkansen just that they haven't been able to sell that many any contracts I think one the cost is a little higher I also believe it has to do with their PR their sales you know maybe they're not as assertive or aggressive in their sales or maybe they're being too humble I don't know but they they lost a couple of contracts uh, they did get one I think it was India but they lost two I think it was France and I don't know if the other one was China but I believe man this Shinkansen technology is really the best in the world you got to see it to believe it but it's amazing just standing out here and seeing what goes on Feel the power! 